Hi, so in this video we're going to be talking about translating a shape on a graph. Okay, so in this particular video we're going to be talking about translating a shape on a graph. And very typically the kind of question you're going to get in high school, it'll say something like translate shape A, so translate a, and then it'll give you what's called a vector. So by vector, and it's written something like that, three, four. Okay, relatively straightforward to do, but you have to be quite precise in the way that you do them. Now, in terms of, uh, of working on a video like this, um, it's gonna be a little bit difficult to see, but hopefully you'll be able to see the basic principles. I'm also gonna add a couple of different videos in this particular playlist uh, to give you some more examples of this. So let's look at that for the moment, the vector itself. Well, up until uh, perhaps fairly recently, you might have been used to dealing with a graph and it says plot the coordinate and it'll say two, three, something like that. So you go, along the x-axis two and then up the y-axis three and you end up with getting a point somewhere up there and we call that two, three. And this refers to the x-axis and this refers to the y-axis. And it's exactly the same with this. All we're doing now is we're looking at moving a point. So rather than plotting a point and putting that point in a location, we're actually talking about moving the point. But the principle is exactly the same in that the first number that you get refers to the x-axis and the second number you get refers to the y-axis. So really all they're asking us to do is to take this shape and move it on the grid along three and up four in this particular case. Okay, now the only slight difficulty with that is occasionally you get these numbers which are negative. If they are negative, I'm gonna give you an example of that in the next video, but basically you move them in the opposite direction and you'll see what I mean in the next video. Okay, so let's just do this example very briefly. So in this particular one, it's telling me to move this shape A along the x-axis towards the right, which is the positive direction, by three units. Okay, now the easiest way of doing that is to take one of the points and simply look at the graph and read through the graph and move it along three places and you'll get to something like there. Okay, then it's telling me to move it up the same point, which is now there, move it up by four units. So I'm going to do that and let's say it's going to be roughly about there. So what was this point, which we'll call A, has now become a flash, which is along three units and up four units. And then I'll do the same for the other two as well. And what I end up doing, if I move that along three and up four, I end up with a copy along three, up four of this particular triangle. Uh, it's not so easy to draw on here, but you'll end up with something like that. And it'll say, label it B. So you just label this B. And that actually answers the question. So hopefully it's relatively straightforward for you. Um, have a look at the next video and that will give you an example where we've got a negative number in the vector. OK, so please do add a comment below, uh, like, subscribe, um, and I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.